Welcome back to the marketings. Uh, why did I wink? That's so awkward. <laughs> Welcome back to The Marketing Solution. My name is Shelby Page, and this week we're going to be talking about a brand that is more of a marketing company than it is an actual physical product. Although when I tell you the name, you're definitely gonna know what it is. Or if you read the title, you already know what it is. It is Red Bull. So also the Red Bull was in frame the whole time. Okay, well if you're watching the video version, you already saw it, but if you- Oof, the wheels are really going off on this one. <laughs> but if you are listening to the audio version of this podcast, then the big reveal still counts. You're welcome, thank you. The point about Red Bull, the most important part about Red Bull that I think is so interesting to talk about on this marketing podcast is the fact that they literally do not do the production of their own drinks. So this company, already existed before it became Red Bull, the worldwide phenomenon that has such a large market share that it's like nearly 25% of the market. For the record, a strong market share percentage is 6%. So Red Bull is very interesting because it takes their brand and it really brings it to life in every possible sense of the word. So if you know Red Bull's motto, Red Bull gives you wings. So what does it do? It goes extreme, extreme sports, very similar to like GoPro's marketing strategy in the fact that they hire thousands of athletes to be affiliate partners, where they sponsor thousands of people, they buy different teams, they have their own production company so that they own the rights to all of the materials that they create. They do extreme publicity stunts. Did you guys see the last episode? And this week we're going to talk about very extreme publicity stunts. They do extreme publicity stunts that are record breaking. Literally, Red Bull and GoPro partnered up to have someone jump out of a plane and skydive from the edge of our atmosphere. I don't even think it was the edge of space. They had like a platform for him to jump off of. Yeah, they had to put him in like a pressure a pressurized pod and they used a hot air balloon to get as high as they possibly could without leaving our atmosphere. The video of it is insane. You can literally see the curvature of the earth or, you know, if you're a flat earther, then the, <laughs> the roundness I of the plate. I forgot the overlap of marketing enthusiasts and flat earthers. <laughs> Well, all I'm saying is, it's a crazy video, you gotta look it up. Red Bull does not can their own drinks. They pretty much white labeled an existing drink, an existing energy drink. It was more of a beverage, it wasn't actually considered an energy drink because there wasn't really a market for that at the time. That was discovered in Asia, and then they decided to take it worldwide and rebrand it because they are a branding company. And it's insane the type of marketing that they do, because like I said, they were able to saturate 25% of the energy drink market that didn't really exist until Red Bull marketed itself as such. Their angle was that this gives you energy, enough energy to do all of these extreme things in the world. And they put their money where their mouth is by sponsoring all of these events around the world, by sponsoring all of these athletes, by putting their name on everything, like even F1 racing. If you don't know what that is, it's actually really fun to watch. You should check it out. But the point is, Red Bull is an incredible marketing company. They have ads, they have billboards, they have out of home marketing, they have sponsorships, they have affiliate programs. They do everything possible to saturate their brands. Have you ever seen the Red Bull marketing cars? Their cars, their, their partnerships with college kids? They literally will have little dune buggies, not dune buggies, because those don't have roofs. Uh, VW Beetles. Beetles, Beetles buggies. <laughs> they literally have VW Beetles with a giant can of Red Bull attached to the back of the car so that when they drive down the highway, every single person that they pass knows that there's a Red Bull affiliate going to an event. They have beautiful girls all over college campuses bringing Red Bulls to bars and wearing their cute little t-shirts. They put so much money into marketing that their revenue generated from their sales that they literally don't can or produce on their own makes up 97% of their revenue. That's insane. They buy Sports teams. You want to know how effective it is too? Tell me. They sold a can for every human on earth. Yeah. In one fiscal year. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven and a half billion cans. Exactly. So they sold nearly eight billion cans, more than the amount of people that live on the planet in 2020, which was actually double how much money they made 10 years before. So in 2011, they made nearly four billion dollars. And within 10 years, they were able to literally saturate the whole world. So this tiny little drink brand that existed in Asia turned around and started in Austria and then took over the entire world with their effective marketing campaign. It's an incredible case study for marketing because they literally white label their production. They were extreme from the start too, outlawed in Germany. Yeah, so they were right outlawed. At the start. know their customer so well, they know their brand so well that everything they do, everything that they sponsor goes back to their extreme lifestyle. So it's very similar to the extreme stunts I talked about last episode with Liquid Death. They take it to a whole new level. And like I said, market saturation, 6%. I'm sure Coca-Cola owns nearly like 50% of the beverage market because they're, they're, they monopolize on things. I think we do that in a future episode. We would definitely will. Red Bull Coca-Cola. But the point is in the energy drink sector in particular, they take over 25% of the market saturation. That is insanity. And the fact that they are only a marketing company truly, because I cannot stress this enough, they do not can and fill their own beverages is absolutely insane. And there are other people in this world that merely do the marketing strategy for the products that they represent. And I think Red Bull is a great case study for how you can do this and become a multi-billion dollar industry. If you don't actually wanna do the work and you're real good at coming up with strategies, take a page out of Red Bull's book and uh, start sponsoring F1 teams. Just kidding, you probably can't afford to do that. But this is a great case study of how to saturate your market and take it worldwide. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Marketing Solution. See you next time. And we're out.